If you've been following the situation with the solar laws in Florida, then you'll be excited to know that yesterday we had a major victory in the fight for solar rights because Governor DeSantis vetoed Bill 741. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we talk about all things having to do with home solar power systems, renewable energy systems, uh, and even battery backup systems as well. Uh, if you're a homeowner that's in the process of evaluating solar options for your home, uh, or if you're an existing solar homeowner and just want to keep up with all the latest news and developments in the industry, then you've come to the right channel. Now in today's video we were going to be talking about uh, Governor DeSantis vetoing House Bill 741, which was the bill that was going to change how the solar net metering laws worked in Florida. Now, folks, generally when you invest in a solar power system, you want to make sure that you have a net metering program. And what the net metering program means is, is very simply, um, when you have excess solar power during daylight hours, if the house doesn't need to use all of it, you can sell or export the excess solar back to the power company, where they would give you a credit for it. So that during the evening hours, when your solar panels aren't producing, you can pull that, uh, the, uh, that energy back in as needed using the credits that you built up during daylight hours. So that's what a, a traditional net metering program does. You send them credits during the daytime, you pull back during the evening, and it all balances out to zero or, or as close to zero as possible. Now, what they were trying to do, and, and really leading the fight on this was Florida Power and Light, which is the largest for-profit utility company in Florida. Um, they wanted to change the rules to where when you were sending electricity back to the power company, they credited you at a progressively lower and lower rate than what they charge you when you were actually pulling electricity in from them. Uh, the reason we don't want that is because it, it, it eats into your ROI or your return on investment for solar panels. Right? What you want is an is a, is a equal trading one for one back and forth. If you send them a kilowatt hour, then you can pull back a kilowatt hour and it has the same value. It all balances out to zero. But what the power companies were trying to do and their lobbyists, and by the way, it was, it was FPL's lobbyists that actually wrote the original version of the bill, and what they wanted to do was, was progressively do, reduce the amount of credits when you were selling back. So they wanted to take it down 75%, 60%, 50%, and then they were going to do away with the credits altogether. But thankfully, Governor DeSantis vetoed this bill, and thus protecting Florida homeowners' rights to access uh, and to access the full value of solar electricity generated by their system, which means that Florida is still one of the best states uh, to go solar here in the United States. Uh, now folks, if, if you're in the process of looking at solar power options for your house, uh, or maybe if you, if you need to get a quote, or if you have a quote and just need to get a comparison to make sure you're getting a good deal, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, where it'll take you to our website, and you can uh, just schedule a short virtual meeting with one of our experts here so we can show you what options are available and what, what some pricing might look like. Now guys, this is not the first time that we've seen this. In fact, just a few months ago, California was trying to do the same thing. And it was the same basic argument from the utility companies that, well, since we invested in running power lines to the house and putting an electric meter on the house, um, we did that based on an assumption that we could continue to sell that homeowner electricity over the next 10, 20, or 30 years to recover our, our cost with a profit. And so they wanted to say, look, well, we, we can't allow folks to zero out their power bill with solar. Uh, or if they do zero out with solar, we need to charge them a higher connection fee. And that's the fee just to have the meter account active, just to have the, the meter turned on, even if there was no usage because they had zeroed out their usage with solar power. So it's the same thing that we've seen in California. And you know, I, I hate to say, but uh, the, the power companies have been successful in other states in taking away or, or not offering a true one-for-one -one net metering program. Uh, so states like Arizona, for example, uh, even, even parts of Texas, um, you're not able to get a full one-for-one -one net metering credit. Uh, now, thankfully, in Florida, that is still protected for the foreseeable future. 
Now guys, if you're looking to protect your interest and really to become more self-sufficient with your energy, uh, one of the things you can do if you are in an area that does not offer a true one-for-one -one net metering program, um, you can consider installing battery storage with your solar power system. And what that would allow you to do is when you have excess solar or abundant solar during daylight hours, rather than selling it back to the power company at a discounted rate, you could use that excess to charge into your battery. So think of your battery as just like a storage tank, like a fuel tank. So you could charge your excess solar into the battery instead of selling it for the cheaper, you know, cheaper rate. And then during the evening hours, just draw off the battery. So you're, you're, you're running on, you know, 24 hours of solar, some people call it, because it's solar that you, you harvested that day. Now you're drawing it out of the battery during evening hours. Uh, and then of course the next day the sun comes back up, takes over powering the house, and then the excess goes to recharge the battery. So you can, you can kind of com complete that cycle or, or repeat that cycle as many times as you need. And then of course the other advantage of installing the battery storage is that it, it protects you from a grid blackout. You know, whether it's day or night, uh, if you have battery storage installed with your solar power system, then even if there was a grid blackout, you'd be able to power your home securely uh, both day and night. Uh, daytime, of course, most of the load would be running directly off the solar panels and the solar panels would keep the battery charged up. And then during evening hours, you can draw what you need out of the battery bank. And then again, the next day, the solar panels take over carrying the load and recharge the battery so that by the next evening, you're, you're going into the next evening, hopefully with a, another fully charged battery. So anyway, folks, this has just been a, a brief announcement about the defeat of House Bill 741 in Florida with Governor DeSantis' veto yesterday. Um, guys, as always, if, if you're getting good value from the information that we have on the Solar Surge channel here, um, be sure to click on that like button. Now, I know I say all the time like button, but it really does help and it you know, helps the platforms to make the video visible to a, a wider audience. Uh, and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, right now we're trying to get two to three new videos out every week and really just want to make sure we're keeping all of you all up to date with what's going on in the solar industry. Whether you're a, a homeowner that's shopping for solar or maybe somebody already has solar panels installed on your home uh, or it, maybe you're a solar professional, a contractor or a sales professional and just want to stay up to date with everything that's going on in the industry. Um, of course, as always, if, if you do need to get a specific solar price quote for your house, uh, as always, we offer the free no obligation quote. Um, just again, uh, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there where you can schedule a short virtual meeting. We'll ask you a few questions and then we can put together some options for you. Well, folks, I thank you for taking some time to share with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.